Nature, and Man at the East End Lagoon. The East End Lagoon borders Bolivar Roads, one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. Bolivar Roads is protected by two jetties. The North Jetty connects to Bolivar Flats, while the South Jetty connects to East Beach. Here, nature and man coexist. Bolivar Roads is the entrance to the Port of Galveston, as well as the Port of Houston. The Port of Houston is one of the largest port complexes in the world. It is the busiest port in the U.S. in terms of tonnage. The jetties that protect Bolivar Roads also trap sand that flows southward along the Galveston coast. The sediments captured by the North Jetty create Bolivar Flats, and sediment trapped by the South Jetty feeds into East Beach. As a result, the beaches and the flats in this area are expanding, unlike much of the upper Texas coast which is eroding due to a sand deposit deficit. As a result of this growth, the East End Lagoon Nature Preserve is well protected from the wave action by the extensive East End beaches. Additionally, sand is continuously blowing into the preserve, adding sediments to the scattered pimple mounds. Even though the preserve abuts one of the busiest sea lanes in the U.S., nature continues to thrive at the East End Lagoon. There are two jetties that protect the mouth of Bolivar Roads, the North, or Bolivar Jetty, and the South, or Galveston Jetty. These jetties were completed in 1897. The South Jetty extends two miles into the Gulf and helps protect the ship channel from being filled with sand and silt. These sediments are deposited at and around the base of the jetty, contributing to a steady flow of sand to East Beach. You will reach the East End Lagoon Nature Preserve by driving, riding, skating, biking, or walking along the Galveston Seawall to the extreme east end of the island. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built the seawall after the 1900 storm, the deadliest hurricane in U.S. history. With the extensions, the seawall is now over 10 miles long and contains continues to protect the city from devastating storms. The lagoon is ideal for a variety of recreations. Birders and photographers enjoy the opportunity to walk along the nature trail. Anglers fish around the mouth of the lagoon, and kayakers can paddle the calm waters along the entire length of the lagoon. Whatever your interest, take advantage of one of Galveston's most easily accessed nature areas. For more information on this topic or another audio guide, be sure to check out the description below.